Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to European Resource 4. I'm your lovely host for the episode, Kelvin, and joining me as always is Marbuzier. Hi, everyone. Alright, where do we leave off? We just beat the crap uh, out of the Ottomans? Let's have a minute of silence for kebab. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah, they ain't looking so good anymore. Yep. They They're splitting up. free. So, yeah. Yeah. Rip kebab. And they're at war with France, aren't they? Yeah. Are they actually still allied with Khorasan? No, no, they are not. So now we can just take all the provinces from Khorasan if we want to. Yeah, France and, uh, you know. We uh, can actually declare war right now. Don't have a peace treaty anymore. Yeah, And I, I still have one core in their capital. You might as well. Yep. It's not like we have anything better to do until our peace treaty with Kebab expired. Yeah, I would like to uh, get back to beating the crap out of some Indians, though. Mm -hmm. I got uh, a lot of area that I still need to cover in that regard. Yeah, we can do that after Khorasan. I don't think you need my help for Khorasan, do you? Uh, no, but don't you want to take some provinces from them? No, I got everything I want. Okay. I'll do it myself then. Yep. All yours, buddy. I don't even think they have an army to defend themselves with, seeing how they can hurl four rebels in Punjab. Yeah, I don't really have an army to fight with either. <laughs> how come? You didn't lose everything against the Ottomans, did you? I kinda did. Oh, okay. I have 30 troops and um, mm -hmm. no manpower. I'm in the whole 15 grand to reinforce. Uh, France is requesting military access. I already gave it to okay. them. Yeah, me I too. I I'm fucking ain't saying to, no to that. Yeah, I'm not going to deny any requests from France. They're at war with the whole of Europe, I'm Ottomans, not suicidal yet. and the Aztecs. Yeah. Okay. And I'm not suicidal yet. But yeah. Rebels, what? Oh. Rebels from Khorasan attacked me? What? That's not fair. I have my own rebels. Yeah, 19 regiments. What's going on with the rebels? I'm getting a lot of rebels recently, even in provinces with very low revolt risk. You see, there's this thing. It's called RN Jesus, and I need to have a conversation with him about you. <laughs> yeah. Have a word with him for me. Yeah. Well, I guess I'm not attacking Khorasan just yet. But we'll have to wait. Probably for the best. But I think I'll fortify my most distant, provi most right. distant provinces a bit. So that the rebels can siege them too fast. I might do that. They actually have a decent leader with free in shock. Four in fire, free in shock. Yeah, I want that guy. I'm actually down to 25,000 manpower. That's a little bit low. Yep, that is. Out of 92,000. But I'm getting over 800 every month. I'm only getting 504 a month. Mm. I'm getting there. I'm catching up on you. Yep. Well, I didn't build any barracks or training fields in a very long time. Yeah, I've been slowly building that stuff and starting to catch up. Mm. Mostly because my military point gains are very low. So I don't want to waste that for buildings. I'm only getting four military points per month. That's really bad. I guess I should get some advisor. What am I getting? I'm getting, yeah, only four. Oh yeah, my advisor's mm -hmm. dead. Yeah. Oh. Mine are dead too, like all of them. And I can only hire a plus one. Gee, thanks. I had, I had zero advisors just now. So, yeah. yeah. I, I didn't realize that all my advisors had died either. Was too busy focusing but, on kebab. But I just got missionary strength advisor. That's good. Sure. Maybe I won't have to take religious ideas. We'll see about that. Don't hold your breath. Yeah, I actually have to pick another idea group. Like right now, or at least I should. Uh, here's the thing. With uh, all the different whatchamahuzits that uh, they, mm. the religious idea gives, like the policies, like you can get the one for mm. plus 10% army morale and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. It, it's really worth it. Wow, I almost lost against the rebels. 
That was a little bit too close. Let's stop almost losing against the rebels then. I'll try. <laughs> Thanks for the advice. Anytime. Glad I could help. Uh. So, who are you attacking? Oh, come on, more. Same exact province? Are you kidding me, game? I'm just heading for Vijayanagar. And I can't use. Oh, I can use harsh treatment in that province, but that's only 2% revolt risk for 40 military points. That's so not worth it. And now I have to wait before I attack them again. Yeah. Oh well, whatever. Yeah, I guess right. I'll recruit some more units while I wait. More yeah. artillery, I suppose. I could definitely use that. I think I have 16 combat weight right now. 17. Mm. Yeah. And I think the most artillery I have in one army is 4. Man, I feel bad for Castile. I don't. <laughs> I don't. Jeez, you, uh, you've you been getting it socked to you lately by uh, the Spanish? I wouldn't feel bad about France either, if they were doing bad. The uh, only reason I might feel bad is because France is taking all the territory from Castile. Yeah, that's the other problem. Yeah. I mean, they've pretty much started uh, on a quest mm. to rebuild the Western Roman Empire. Yeah, pretty much. All right, let's get started. Oh, come on, revolt. Huh. 34 regiments on top of each other? What the heck are you doing, game? Like, really? That's answer, game. interesting. When the hell did the game Portugal... Doesn't want to answer. When the hell did Portugal take mm. Ceylon? No idea. Mm. <laughs> wow, I don't have any military leaders? No, I don't. They are hiding. Come here. There we go. Well, at least Khorasan has a very small army. Yeah, they are kind of shrunk down now. And, and apparently, apparently Manchu rivaled me. So well, maybe it's a good thing that we don't have a border with them yet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. More rebels. Bit. I'm getting a lot of rebels here. Well, I don't know. Manchu's a horde. They, uh, mm. it's not that they eventually inherit Ming, don't they? And mm -hmm. become like a superpower and get. Oh, they didn't reform or anything like that. They get like some kind of decision or event for that. I'm fairly certain. Mm -hmm. Well, they I didn't do that yet. Well, I don't think it's available yet. I think it's around uh, 1675. All right, so I guess that wouldn't be a problem. Oh yeah, their tech is like really bad. Yeah, because they're a nomad right now. Maybe they have a death wish. Hmm. That seems to be the case. Yeah, the rebel army is bigger than, like, any other army around here. Khorasan, Kazakh, or anyone else I have a border with. Well, we'll see. 32 rebel regiments right now in one province, and that's mostly mountains. So, this might end poorly for me. Yeah. Hmm. My leader is not great. How much stress is Portugal putting on the trade network? A lot. And I'm sending half my army to deal with rebels. Seems legit. Why are they pulling it? Come on, move it. Really? They are definitely not in a hurry. So, bad news. Portugal's feeding the Ottomans money. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's not good. Yeah. They are now stealing a good ch chunk of my trade and uh, sending it right into the Ottomans. Because Kazakh some... is coming my way with, like, over 30 regiments. Interesting. I might actually have to deal with them. More war score for me. Why? But their army is still smaller than the rebel army. Why do all my rebel leaders have the right stats? I mean, what was the biggest rebel army that you had in this game? Oh, you mean all time or just in this game? Yeah, all time. No, in this game, I mean, from the oh. start of this game, in one but, province. Um, I think it was 46. Okay, you win. 
Yeah, somewhere around there. Ready tool for me. Yeah. Blue is pretty bad, but uh. Mm. And more revolves. No idea what's going on with that. Man, it's getting on my nerves. 1.1% revolt risk, and yet I just got 17 or 15 rebel regiments in there. Jeez. That's a little bit harsh, don't you think? Just a little bit. Okay. Well, at least I beat the huge rebel stack. Time to beat the Kazakh. Yep. I wish you luck, sir. Well, really, you shouldn't need much with Kazakh. Hey, hey, you're still a uh, treaty with the Ottomans. Actually, if still... I keep getting new rebels, then I'll need some luck. Yeah. You're still a treaty with Kazakh, though. Hmm. Looks like you will be uh, until the Ottomans are done or whatever. God well, damn it. running away. Fucking Ethiopia and Funge. Hmm. Well, the Mamlukian nationalists decided to try their hand at attacking me. And, uh, lost their entire army doing so. And now the stupid African protectorate states are cleaning up, uh, and preventing the Mamluks from getting their independence from the Ottomans. Yeah. Damn it all. Covert action. Support rebels. Mamluk. Oh, nice. The Kazakh are actually attacking my rebels, and they are going to have a really bad time against my rebels. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Yeah, the technology difference. They have no chance. They are actually losing. Hmm. And my army is just standing there watching the show, enjoying it. <laughs> yes. And then they will beat whoever wins. Yeah, that's always fun. Just like, all right, now that you two are done crushing each other, <laughs> yeah, it, it's my turn. That was a slightly one-sided battle right there. Yeah. Alright, back to Khorasan. How do you feel about annexing Nepal? Yeah, maybe. Because once yeah, I'm done with this, I'm, I just happen to be at war with them. That's all. <laughs> mm. Oh, okay. More rebels. Exactly what I needed. There, smashy, smashy. Well, this will take a while, from the looks of it. Yeah. I'm just, uh, you know, sieging up across Vajanagar now. Mm. I mean, they're Indians, they can't stand up to us. Yeah. I had half of my army playing cut and mouse with Kazakh. Yeah. And I still have some rebels in my territory. Yuck. Yeah. At least I didn't lose any of these engagements. Good. Yeah. But I'll finish sieging all of Khorasan soon. That's good. Except the provinces already occupied by nationalists. <laughs> well, you'll have to deal with the nationalism, I suppose. There's just no other way. I could probably take something from Kazakh if I really wanted to. Oh great, my ruler died. Regency Council, are you kidding me? <sighs> well, at least my heir is 13 years old, so that's only two years. Yeah. I might as well continue this war and attack Kazakh now. Well, yeah. Because I can't declare any new war anytime soon. Or in the next two years, at least. Yeah. So, Seems might as well do it. Take it all, baby. Take it all. What the? Hmm. 
Apparently, the Indians have been building mm -hmm. forts while I was looking. Yeah. There's a level 4 fort in one of these provinces. Wow. <laughs> that will take a while. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking at that going, well, that's just fucking great. Yeah. Khorasan only has level 2 fours at the best. Yeah, you got lucky on that. These guys actually have some, you know, mm. amount of technology. I'm starting to finally pull ahead of them, though. That's the good news. What's your tech level? 15? 15. I'm at 19. Yeah. Okay, wait, what? Wow, okay. With the Regency Council, I'm actually getting 9 military points per month because the Regency Council has 4 in military. LOL. And my air only has 1, so I'll actually lose military points once the Regency Council is done. Best Regency Council ever. <laughs> yeah. We can say that again. Best Regency Council ever. Thanks. Hey, ask and you shall receive. <laughs> Right. I'm actually getting close to level 20. Mm -hmm. That's good. And I do believe Multan just split off from mm -hmm. uh, Coruscant. Yep. You just kind of let the rebels do their thing there? Mm-hmm. I'll probably attack them next. <laughs> They're the only Sikh nation. That's impressive. Sucks to be them. Yeah. Considering they're now in dead religion group in a religion in that, you know, nobody yeah. else has. Yeah. Kind of like you. What? No, I'm at least I have people in my religion group. Yeah, that's true. How did that go on for me? Well, time to siege a few provinces from Kazakh. Yep. <laughs> Alright. Where are some places that I can put down an armory or two? There you go. But I still won't be able to take the province that I have a core in because that's their capital. That's yeah. a little bit irritating. I can surround no, it. And I, I believe you can take core. the uh, capital if it's the only thing mm -hmm. you take. Isn't that correct? Maybe. If you choose, it's you better can... to take a few more provinces and yeah. then I can take the capital in the next war. I mean, it's not like that core is going anywhere. Yeah, and it's not like the Ottomans will save them. Exactly. <laughs> can you flat out just annex them? Maybe. I'll find out soon. I could maybe vassalize them. Well, what you do is you uh, clear your peace offer, mm -hmm. uh, and then you uh, look at the percentage cost to annex them. It's a, if it's 100%, then you can. If it's higher than 100%, you can't. Well, that siege is almost done. Yeah. Okay. Yay! What happened? Oh, I just found the match to convert some stuff. Mm hmm. Alright. So, I suppose I don't really need my religiously sponsored guilds anymore. I have four mm -hmm. missionaries. Thanks to the uh, conquest of Mecca and the conquest of Jerusalem. Yeah. Good stuff. So I could get a border with Manchu if I want to. Yeah. I'm considering that. <laughs> Alright. I mean, that would be a pretty easy target. With a tech difference like that. Yeah. I might actually do it. And I think I will. All I need to do is take Kashgar. Yeah, I... I'm just gonna give me... You wouldn't? Manchu a uh, bit of a... Mm. Wide berth for now. Because I don't know when that event's gonna fire, and... Mm -hmm. 
you know, gonna make them really strong. Okay. So. Hey, that will make it more fun. Yeah, I suppose. We wanted to make it more fun, right? Well, yeah, but we don't want you to die. It won't be that bad. I mean, we are pretty damn strong together. Yeah, I suppose so. Just don't drag me into a 50-year war where I have to spend, where I have to use mercenaries for the last four. Don't worry, days. it will be fine. It will be fine. Don't panic. I'm a pessimist, okay? <laughs> Japan is having some problems, I see. Yeah. They, they've been having rebel problems. I mean, if you really don't want me to do it, then I won't. I can take a lot of other provinces. It's yeah, they, they go whatever. Like, uh, here's the other thing. Are you really going to expand out into Asia like that? Well, I'm not going to expand west right now. I can expand north instead. Yeah. The thing is, like, if you just look at northern Asia, most of the provinces are mm. shit. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Like, that, that's the thing. But most of these provinces are pretty bad overall. I only see two base tags. Oh, more rebels? Come on. Okay, I have to deal with these stupid rebels again. And you have that problem as well. Okay, hold on. I'm going to pause for a moment and see what kind of deal I can get with Khorasan. Oh yeah, I have to negotiate with Kazakh about that. Alright, well. I just, huh, let's uh... see. I don't think I can annex them outright. No, I can't do full annexation. Wait, can I do full annexation? No, I don't think so. Mm. I can't negotiate with Khorasan directly. So uh, that's a bit annoying. Yeah. Hmm. I could get out of this war right now. Well, do you need to? No. I guess I'll continue for now. Look at Cairo. Hold on, I'm a little bit busy losing a fight. Yeah, I see. Interesting. What? How did that happen? I've been funding a lot of rebels, okay? Ah, okay. I've been I pumping see. funds into them. They're good that shit. That makes sense. It's a start. Oh, nice leader. Two fire, five shock, four siege. No, wait, three siege. Wow, that's one of the better leaders I had. Yeah. There. Now every province I own has an armory. Mm hmm. Or has it under construction, at least. Not bad. Yeah, I'm and really trying to. The is done. Yeah. I'm really trying to work on getting the damned uh, mm -hmm. manpower up. Mm -hmm. It's just too rough having none. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. Like that's particularly one of the reasons you've been so successful is all that uh, investment I in mean, buildings. Yeah, this is one of the reasons why uh, training fields were some of the first buildings that I built in this game, if not literally the first buildings. Yeah, I went the economy route. Mm, I got multiples very early on. I also wasn't quite so lucky about, uh, you know, a decent monarch. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Oh well. It is what it is. Dem be the My cards. Territory. My territory is way too spread out. Oh, oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, yeah, whoop the freaking do, princess. Get used to it. Out even more, I guess. Well, I have a lot more mountains than you. That slows down my movement. And it yeah. does kind of suck. I have a lot more need for boats than you do. I can't get to certain parts of my territory without traveling over water. <laughs> that slows me down. That's true. Traveling over water slows you down. What? <laughs> uh. I never heard of that. Okay, one rebel stuck. Gone. But I just lost a siege. Mm -hmm. Oh well. 
61% war score. I will probably finish this soon. Yeah, I don't think I can get to Kandesh fast enough, but maybe I can grow through Barwa. Not sure if that's going to be faster. Yeah. Oh wow, the Ottomans embargoed me. Well, How are you surprised? Scary. Are you worried? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> They're still at war with France. What do I care? Yeah. Uh, we are at a truce with them. Mm hmm. Hey, I could totally get a border with Moscovy. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't worry, I won't do that. I would like to remind you of the personal <laughs> yes. unions. That was my point, actually. It. Okay. The to good be fair, news is that would make this game much more interesting. Yeah. The good news <laughs> is, uh, Poland can't inherit for shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> minus twenty-one and minus forty-five percent mm -hmm. chance. But well, that doesn't make them any less scary. Yeah. Okay, so if you want to attack the Ottomans, I mean, they are worth the French right now. Mm-hmm. No, I'm still busy with this war. Okay, yeah, because I can't really commit fully either. Not quite done with it yet. And I might attack Moltan still. That's just a very easy target. Yeah. I could vassalize them. I will be getting a lot of diplomatic points, so I might as well take advantage of that and get some vassals. It's true. I mean, my ruler has five in diplomatic power, so yeah. I so, think I'll do it. God damn it! Well, one of my fucking military advisors drop dead, mm -hmm. so that way I can hire someone who isn't plus one. Because all I can do is get plus one right now. For military. You want higher than plus one? Yeah, I want like a plus three. Okay. I'd love a plus, plus three. Plus three? Yeah. How much gold are you getting per month? A lot. Uh, currently, okay. I'm at plus 12, and I already have a plus three admin guy. Okay, fair enough. This... I am fielding quite a vast quantity of money. Mm-hmm. You field a vast quantity of soldiers. That's the difference. Yeah. All right. This is a slightly one-sided war. Well, I mean, you do kind of have a, you know, an entire country occupied. Yep. And I mean, the rebels have been a bigger threat than actual armies. Yeah. Well, that's the point. Rebels are supposed to prevent you from doing what you're doing right now. <laughs> yeah, and they are not doing a very good job at it. It gets worse over time. Thanks, that makes me feel better. <laughs> yeah. That's the thing. But are you supposed to get more rebels in Wealth of Nations now? I don't think you're supposed to. They reworked rebels to make them something mm -hmm. that you don't. that just aren't a nuisance and something you actually yeah, okay. have to give a shit about. Also, the Ottomans just entered a coalition against me. Not that I really care about that. Well, maybe so that's much? a sign that you should stop conquering so much. I mean, hey, I you attack the Ottomans with me. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm actually going to lose one fight, or maybe not. Ooh, you got some Hindu zealots there, my friend. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, I lost one fight. 74% war score, yeah, I think I'm going to finish this soon. <laughs> yeah, you should probably back off. Yeah. You're only hurting yourself at this point. I'm waiting for one more siege. It's almost done. I just want to finish that. Oh, the Zealots are gone? That's the... weird. Uh... That's strange. They did not finish the siege. Yeah, they didn't finish the siege. And they are just gone? Okay. Hey, I don't mind. I don't mind at all. Uh, did you recently annex anything? Uh, yep. I Well, I finished the siege. I didn't no. annex anything. No, I was just thinking maybe the country they were going to defect to mm. disappeared. Maybe. I don't know. That's no idea. Best I but could I, come up with. I don't mind. Yeah.
Three more sieges, and I'm done. You know, I wonder if I could take the Mamluks as a vassal. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, you probably could. Uh, it's worth a shot, I suppose. The Mamluks is the Mamluks are improving relations with both of us. <laughs> They're just like, please save me from the Ottomans. I don't want to die. <laughs> uh. Come on, finish the sieges. That's one. Maybe I'm getting a little bit too greedy here. <laughs> no. Okay. If you say so. You're fine. I have one army coming my way. I'll just beat them for some war score. Yeah. Okay. 84% war score now, though. So what's your manpower per month? Uh, right now, that's 933. Not bad. What the? Oh, hey. Hmm. I can believe we got those guys existed. Mm -hmm. I should do something oh. about them. Okay, I'm going to end this here. So let me pause this for a moment. Okay. So I can get the best deal possible. Yeah, alright. Let's see. I can't vassalize anyone. It's over 100%, unfortunately. Darn. So that's not going to happen. Also, I think Manchu might be uh, coming to get a border with you. Yeah. You know? Yeah, that's possible. Mm. I could get them to release some nations. I don't think I want to do that. I could get them to release the Timorese. Oh, God. Yeah. Don't. Just put them out of their misery. Hmm. Yeah, I'll just annex as much as possible. Yeah. But I can't annex Herat, which kind of sucks. I'll just surround it and then annex it during the next war. Think about it this way. It's a free Casas belief for later. Hmm. Yeah, true. So, what do I want here? I don't want to annex too much. This is already 32% over extension for free provinces. Well, that's nothing. Just remember, as long as you don't go over 100, you're fine. Okay. I just don't want to make this coalition even bigger. I'm just saying. Well, I mean, so what if the Ottomans, Kazakh, and Khorasan join into a coalition? That's pretty mm -hmm. much what they've been doing the entire freaking game anyway. Yeah, that's true. Okay, one more time. Hmm. Wait, can I annex everything in Khorasan? Almost. I can annex anything except one province from that, Khorasan and, and their capital. But that will give me 72, 68% over extension. That's nothing. You think that's fine? That's fine. You can handle that. Alright. It's you generally pretty short-lived. You only have to deal with, you know, like 3% global revolt risk for a couple of years. Alright, I'm doing it much. then. Alright. Poof. There we go. Okay, now I need to start all the cores. Yeah. <laughs> Immediately. Yeah, I, that I needs to be fixed. I can production interface for that. I had 900 admin points. That should be enough. Yep. Yeah. But now, I don't think I'm going to declare any war until these cores are done. Yep, that's yeah. generally how I work. I take a vast swath of land, I sit around, I core it, I convert it, and I take another vast swath of land. Well, technically, I declared this war while... I was still creating some cores. Yeah. I finished them shortly after the war declaration. So, should we finish this part here? Or are yeah. you still... I'm, I'm, I'm just sitting here on mm -hmm. some cores that are about to finish. Alright, so let's make a cut here. Yep. Yeah. Thanks for watching, everyone. So long. Bye-bye. And we'll see you next time.